Hey y'all, welcome back. So I'm here at Lowe's I'm meeting Caleb here. We just left from the house at the same time. He got stuck at the light, so I figured I'd film um, what we're doing. Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> um, anyways, so he needed to come to Lowe's for something for the house. Um, I'm off today, so I was gonna go, do, go on a little adventure, but I've got these ladder rail covers for my bunk in my mom's RV. The ladder is metal and it's hard to get up. It hurts your feet. So she ordered me these covers. So I have three of them and I need to get some sort of uh, polyurethane to put on them so that they're not raw anymore. And so I'm going to look for, I think some gray polyurethane because the flooring in the RV is gray and the leather is like a tannish color. So I think that that would look nice. So we're gonna head in on, head on into Lowe's now. Okay, so I was looking at this, the different colors, and I was like, I would like something kind of grayish. Um, but these little guys that are polyurethane and stain in one, which is kind of what I was looking at, don't have like a grayish color. So Caleb convinced me to get this Danish oil. So it'll smooth on and then it'll uh, harden inside the wood so it won't be uh, slick and it won't look plasticky like the polyurethane. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Hey y'all, I'm here at another antique mall today. We're at Treasure Isles. It is my favorite antique store in St. Louis that I found so far. Um, the Eureka antique mall is also really great. It's huge, but it's further out, but they have really good prices there. But I just like this one because it's, um, it's a good size. It's not tiny, it's not big. And sorry about the construction. There's something going on across the street, but I'm gonna mask up and head in now. Oh my goodness, there is music in this antique mall too. So, <laughs> yay, but I found this tapestry. It's like a French framed tapestry. Pretty neat. I don't think Caleb would like it though, so I wanna pass. Okay, I just had to find something creepy in this place too. I don't know. Her eyes are creeping me out. So I found a mushy box. I think it's to oh, hold pictures or some such. Let me see if there's a tag on it because it has like a little push forward kind of system. Here we go. Uh, oak box with a mushroom decoupage. So I don't know what the inside's for, but it's not an antique ball without mushrooms. So I just found this drink shaker. Looks like it's probably from the 60s. Let's see what the tag says. It says, what's your number liquor report? This is really neat, but it wouldn't fit in the house. And also we don't really drink liquor. I don't really drink at all. And Caleb drinks beer, so. I just found this book from 1889. It's very pretty. I'm not sure if the author is Whittier, the name of the book is Whittier. I don't want to mess with it too much. That's really neat though. I wonder if Kayla would like it in the library. I do not like this. Dogs are cute, but they're just disembodied heads. I don't like that. <laughs> it's weirding me out. I think I'm gonna get these salt and pepper shakers because they're little monitor top refrigerators, which is what we have. And it is $12 for the set. So I'm gonna go for that. I think Kayla will think that's really cute. Ooh, I found the jackpot of DVDs, which we don't really have any at home because, you know, we use streaming services, but in my mom's RV, um, we don't always have internet, of course, because, you know, we're traveling and whatnot. So DVDs and Blu-rays are the solution. So I'm going to have a look through all these and see if I can find anything good. Look at this. It is a leather case owned by NASA Aerospace Cardiologist. Huh. Wow, Skylab, Apollo. I don't know how to read Roman numerals, sorry. I, I was never taught that, <laughs> don't hate me. We weren't taught that when I was in school. That's pretty neat, I might grab that. It's only $49. So I just found all this art of um, dogs and one cat and I'm assuming that those were somebody's babies and I'm just wondering why they're in the, the antique mall now. Ugh. No. Why? Oh my god, it's a giant frog. Do I need that or do I need that? This is gorgeous, but it's $22 and I feel like I already have quite a few. 
And there's another one over here. Sorry about the panning. Also very beautiful, but I think I have plenty of these things. Okay, I found a giant basset hound. I feel like I need that even more than the giant frog. Okay, not really a big fan of painting wood furniture usually, but this is actually really well done. That's very pretty. I like the detailing on it. And they kept the original knobs. I think that that's really pretty. I saw an ugly pink thing over there. It was like a secretary desk. It was painted pink, chalk paint. And I was just like, oh, come on. I really like this light fixture and it's only $59, but it's definitely missing some prisms. And this looks like a shape that would be difficult to find replacements for. So I'm not sure. I'm sure it'll still be here next time I come around. Seems like it's been here for a while. So I'll have a look around and see if I can't find prisms like that somewhere else. And maybe I'll get it. So I found an antique Singer sewing table. It looks like it still has the machine too but I really like that. But apparently somebody is gifting us one, which is crazy. How nice is that? Wow, look at these geodes. These crystals are really cool too. Neat. Y'all, I just found the, my favorite booth in the whole world. Look at this, look at this. That's all silver plated stuff. Holy cow. I'm like, I don't even want to go in here because I'm just going to try to buy the whole thing. Yikes. Oh, look at that picture. Ooh, look how big that candelabra is. All right, let me not go in here because I'm going to buy too many things. Okay, so I'm back in the car, finished my shopping trip. Um, sorry, I did get the little monitor top salt and pepper shakers. That's the only thing I ended up getting. I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff that we're going to have to move. And also our house right now is like 400 square feet. So um, I don't really want to clog it up with a bunch more stuff. So, And also since our house is like just a working construction site at this point, I don't really want to take them up there either. It's just more stuff to have to move around all the time. So anyways, I just wanted to touch on um, when I was talking about the singer antique sewing machine and table um and how somebody's gonna gift us one like that is so unbelievably nice people have been so kind to us and I, i'm just we're just so grateful you know if somebody is not you know wanting to hold on to something or they don't have a use for it and they're wanting to gift it to us like that's that's just unbelievably kind we've been shown so much kindness all the comments on our videos are usually so kind and we, I don't know. It's just crazy. We never expected any of this, you know. We thought we were just gonna make a little channel to document our progress, you know, basically just for us for the future and it's just blown up and we're just crazy, crazy grateful. So thank you all so much for watching. So now I'm gonna go head to the house and finish up those um the ladder rung cover things for my bunk in my mom's RV with the uh, the oil that I purchased and show Caleb those monitor top salt and pepper shakers. I think he's really gonna like those. So let's go see him. Also, one more quick thing. I'm really sorry if I was quiet in there again. I am so uncomfortable filming in public and it seems like there was just people around me all the time. So I'm just like trying to be as quiet as possible while still being audible to you guys. And it's, it's kind of difficult to find that balance. But I think um, since I'm filming on my phone right now and it seems like I'm really enjoying vlogging, I'm probably gonna purchase a camera and a microphone and all that stuff. Um, it might make editing a little bit more difficult for me because I really don't even know what I'm doing at all yet, but I gotta learn it sometime, so. All right, now let's go ahead to see Caleb. All right, what are we doing? All right, I got a thing. Sorry, it's right, shaky. let me see the thing. What is that? I got two of them. Oh, the little monitor salt and pepper shakers, but there's no, we don't, we're not going to use them as salt and pepper shakers. That's what they are. They're just decoration. The little monitor top guys. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they're really cute. What'd yeah. you get for these? Yeah, they were $12. Each? No. That's not bad. Yeah. Cute. I was like, well, we have a monitor top. We have to get that. You need to file a cork. 
Mm. They got like a little door on them. I know. Or like uh, like a little window. I wish our fridge had a window on it. Oh. I've never seen a monitor top with a window on it. Have you? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really looked at too many monitor tops. It's cute. All right, so I'm ready to start my little project. I got my oil for the wood, got the steps, two more in here. I got my gloves, my rag, and my surgical mask, my surgical mask in case it's uh, got some fumes or anything. If it does, I'm gonna crack a window, but well, let's get into it and then I'll, um, shouldn't be very exciting. So I'm just gonna show you all the finished product when I'm done, okay? Okay, so. <laughs> As you were filming. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got three coats of the Danish oil on these pieces. They don't have to be perfect. Just they're just little ladder rung covers, but at least they'll be sealed now, so they're not raw wood. And yeah, I really like the dark walnut color. It's a nice, just natural tone. Okay, y'all. Caleb made new shirts, so we've got the channel logo here. And on the back. Wow, look at that! It's the house and the logo and everything. Isn't that super cool? He did a great job. So um, those are available on Teespring. Teespring. So the link should be in Caleb's bio on his videos. So thank you for watching today's vlog, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye.